Hello friends, I am Paras from Glamming Videos and you are watching Learn VBA Without Coding Skills. So in previous video I told you about cells and range. So in today's video I will let you know about offset and selection. What we can do with offset and what we can do with selection. These four commands are very very helpful when you when you write any program in VBA. So cells and range was very useful and offset and selection are also very useful so let's start with offset and selection so i'll create a new workbook so i've opened a new workbook and now let me open the visual basic editor by pressing alt f11 so let me remove this I have already created a module and now we will create a new procedure so sub new procedure so first of all we will see offset so offset why we use offset command we use offset to move cursor from one position to another position if you want to move our cursor to upside or to downside or to left or to right so we will use offset and this command will be very helpful in your projects or in your, in your VBA program so let's see how it works so we'll start with range command range if you want to select d4 dot select so cd4 has been selected now if we want to move our cursor to upside or to downside so we use offset dot offset bracket starts so it is asking for row offset how many rows do you want to offset so if we want to move our selection to upside so we'll use minus one or two or how many rows we want to offset if you want to move it to upside then we use minus because we are reducing the row count we are moving from 4 to 2 so this which is what this is why we are using minus if you want to move it to downside or we are increasing the row number then we will use positive means nothing no sign and for now we don't want to change the column zero to select so it should select d4 and we have increased two rows so it should select d6 see d6 has been selected so now range d4 dot offset Now you want to reduce the row number, you want to move it to upside. So minus 2 or we want to change the only one row to minus 1 comma 0 dot select. So what it will do, it will select D4, then it will change the row to upside. So it will reduce one row. So it should select D3, cell D3. So see, D3 has been selected. And same as for, for columns range d4 dot offset now we don't want to change the raw we want to change the column so in this case it will move to right because we we are increasing the column number so it should select e4 see e4 has been selected or if we use minus then c4 will be selected so this is how it works so this is offset command we'll see more uses of this command in our next video now we'll move to selection command 
so what is selection so this range is selection when we use multi when we select multiple cells or when we select a range it is this will become a selection so let's see an example range p2 to p4 p5 dot select so see b range b2 to b5 has been selected so if you want to perform any any formatting or if you want to write anything in these cells so we don't use b2 to b5 this this range b2 to b5 again and again we'll just use selection because this is our selection for now b2 to b5 so we'll use selection dot value equal to selection so we'll not use this because we have already selected from b2 to b5 in this case this is our selection so we will perform this action on the selection selected cells so see it has been changed to selection or if you want to change the color of the selected cell then selection dot cells dot interior dot color is equal to v red so it will change the background color of this these cells selected cells see so this is how selection command works so now i have told you another command to fill the change the interior color of the cell or selection you can use this command cells dot interior dot color so this is a very small use of selection command there are other uses of as well which we will see in our next video so let's see one more example how will we use range with the selection so let's delete this now if b2 is selected so if we select cell b2 and we press control shift down so so i have changed it to from b2 to b26 so if we select b2 and then press control shift down arrow so it will select the last cell so how we can do this using vba so we can do this with the help of selection command so first select p2 dot select so p2 has been selected now there is another command selection dot end excel down dot select so what we are doing here we are moving this selection to till the end to downside so this is same as when we press control down arrow so it will select the last cell of this range so see b26 has been selected if we press control up then it will select the first cell so it means we are selecting the last cell of this cell of this range so this is same as when we press control down arrow it will select b26 so we can use this command to select the last cell of that range so now if you want to select from b2 to b26 let me zoom out this okay let me move this 
So if you want to select cell B2 to B11, this will be same as Control Shift. If we select B2 and we press Control Shift down arrow, how we can do it using VBA? So first of all, we will select cell B2. So we will run it by F8. So we will run it using F8. So B2 has been selected now. B11 has been selected with this command. So how will we merge these commands? So see, this is very important. So range cell one. So cell one is range so range cell one. So cell one will be our range B2 cell 2 so b2 has been selected so b2 is already selected because we have used this command now it is selected and cell 2 selection dot and excel down so cell 1 will be this and cell 2 will be last cell of that range dot select so let's run it and see what happens so we will run it using f8 oh sorry so f8 f8 so b2 has been selected and with this line again f8 so see guys first so when we use range command, first it will ask cell 1 and cell 2, the first cell and the last cell of that range. So we have given first cell and the last cell will be selection dot n, cell down means last cell of that range and then select. So we are telling VBA to select the complete range from B2 to B11. So I hope guys you will definitely get something out of this video. So if you like this video then subscribe our channel Glamming Videos and I'll tell you about conditions and comments in my next video. So thank you so much guys and if you have any question then please mention in comments. Thank you. Bye bye.